Hello, Jamie here from Inky and Scrappy, sharing with you today a hidden gift card holder with the platform pop-up die from Lawn Fawn. I am using Ohuhu's to color today. I did color most of my images on Saturday when I was watching the Create With Us with Jen Shrooks and Kelly from Lawn Fawn. And so this was one of those... I needed a few more pieces for this card and so I was just going to show you the coloring since some people like to watch that. I'm one of those people. But <clears throat> I am just going from darkest to lightest. I will list all of the colors on the blog and I will try to in the description box below. And at that 4 minutes and 12 second mark maybe, there is a still shot of all the markers used for the colors in the card. Um, let's see, the reds I used were 15, 11, 14, 16, and 27. The greens are 46, 47, and 48. The yellows are 33 and 35. The browns, mm, the majority of them in the bullet nibs are the 98, 92, and 102. And the blues are 71 and 74. The teals are 61, 58, 57. And I do use the BR2, which is a brush tip. And I think it's the E220 or the E210. I'm not exactly sure. And I don't think I used the BR1, but I had pulled it, and I don't remember if I had used it or not. But I'm just going in and coloring all of my greens. And then for the flowers, I just did one simple yellow in the middle. And then I just do a dot of warm gray, like in the center of the petal, to give it some contrast. I'm going to show you how I colored the signs two different ways. The bullet nibs, which are the majority of what I have for my Uhuhus, because I have switched out most of my cop Copic broad nib ends to a bullet nib, and I love my bullet nibs. And so that was how I colored that first one, and it gives it more of a grainy appearance, where here I went with the brush markers, and it gives it a smoother appearance. You still kind of get that wood grain look. It's definitely faster to color it that way with the brush. But I like both of those looks. So I'm just going in and coloring these ones. For the images in the card that you will see, I actually have the strawberries in the basket. I had done some stamp masking, which was super easy because it's a straight line. And my strawberries are actually in my basket. I actually don't own the coordinating die set for this set. I keep trying not to buy them because I have the Brother Scan and Cut and it makes sense to use it because <clears throat> I mean I spent the money on it so the whole reason was so I didn't have to buy <clears throat> the coordinating die cuts. I still do a lot of times. Old habits die hard. So I'm just going and coloring all of my images. And then I will cut them out with the scan and cut. Markers. What do you prefer? Do you do Uhuhus? Do you do Copics? Any other alcohol ink blended markers? Because I have a few different varieties and I think they all work very similar. So those were the colors I'll use. There are all of my images. So there will be some more lovely strawberry cards coming because <clears throat> I'm prepared. I've got a lot done. So here are all of my die cut pieces. Well, most of my die cut pieces because what was in my head and what actually worked on paper were two different things. But for the most part, I have the platform pop-up bases and then I wanted to do a different color on my bases for the grass. So you'll see those. And there are my barns. So I cut off the tops of my barns. And then these are the, it's not the, it might be the diagonal 
it's one of the pocket I think this one is the pocket gift card holder from Lawn Fun. They have two. I have both of them. The other one's like an angled one. And so this one is the one that I think works the best. And this pattern paper is a really light. It's kind of like heavy printer paper. It's not very thick at all. And that's what I was going with. I didn't want to go with a heavy sleeve because it adds too much bulk, I think. I have done a hidden gift card pocket in my platforms before. And I did it with a thicker paper and it definitely adds more bulk. And this definitely helped. So a word to the wise. When you die cut that platform pop up, on pattern paper like I did here. I could not see where that score loft line was to save my life. So I ended up folding all of my platforms to try to help me figure out where exactly that line was. Like I couldn't even see it. It was it was also dark. It was after chores, so my eyes were already tired, but I was just like I can't even and it could be cuz I was using the scrapbook.com magic mat and I just don't have luck with it. <sighs> it went back in the drawer and I broke out a new cutting plate for my vagabond. So here I am just adding those pieces to the top. They were not exactly perfect but it was close. So there's you know a little and I didn't want them to be over the one the front edge or the back edge because I didn't want them to be in the way of the platform folding. So it worked. So I am just going in and I am putting this together again. If you want a better instructional video, you can go to my GOAT platform pop up card or visit the Lawn Fawn YouTube site and watch Kelly's instructional video where she shows you a whole lot slower and a whole lot better than I will ever be able to do. So I'm just lining that up, putting it together, and I don't actually put my two halves together right away. I did for my first few, and sometimes I do, but it seems to work better if I do one half, the other half, and then I kind of play from there. Um, it's easier, especially with my thumb, because I still don't have that I don't have that wrist movement, and I don't really have the mobility or I shouldn't have that mobility. I can wiggle it a little bit, but that's about it. And then when I wiggle it wrong, it hurts. But <clears throat> such is life. So I needed some green pieces there. If I had cut my tees from green, I could have skipped that step, but I didn't. So I just used the coordinating die that comes with the platform pop-up and cut the little grass pieces. And then I like to save all of my colored bits that are going to get covered up. A lot of times because I can use them other places and this was one of those times so I covered that end up with a little mouse that's eating the strawberry I'm trying to figure out my layout and being that I was gonna have that huge barn in the middle that back row isn't really gonna get a whole lot of visual representation I guess you could say because you really can't see much of it behind the barn. If I went to put the clouds in the background then I probably would have finished off that back piece and the back of the barn a little bit better but you can't really see it so it really didn't pay. And here was me being overzealous with my glue and I was like oh I put glue on both sides and I really only wanted to put it on one and then I was like I guess I'm putting it together so here I was putting it together and I forgot to do the glue on the sides but it actually worked pretty good because then I could go back in and just lift up those things after I knew that my platform was together properly and so now I am just working on building the barn putting the door and the trim on and I tried to cheat it a little bit because I've had more more gift card holder than I had barn on top of gift card holder to cover up said gift card and so I needed to cheat it up a little bit or make my barn a little bit taller and so I added a little bit with that base trim and the door 
and then I end up going in with grass on the just a piece of green on the bottom there to cover it up and I had cut three of those grass pieces cut one in half because I knew you weren't going to see it once the barn was there anyways so I'm going to put the barn on the front and then I will match up the barn on the back with my front and so here's where <sighs> my plan went awry because I was like oh this should work and I didn't think you could grab onto it well my original piece wasn't long enough so I had to get another one so this is actually a 12 and a half piece of paper cut I think it's about an inch wide you don't need the full 12 inches an 11 and a half sheet of printer paper would work just fine there like a heavier I've had heavier heavier I don't know what is it called grammed printer paper not the super cheap stuff that would have been a, a good consistency but so here I am and I'm still trying to because I was planning on gluing the roof together but not onto the barn but then onto the gift card and then you could pull the roof off the barn and the gift card would come out and I just didn't think there was going to be enough real estate to grab onto that gift card with the roof and so I had to re-figure how I was going to do this and then I was like well I have the barn the top of the barn pieces that I had already cut off earlier and I was like well that would work so I ended up gluing those on that piece, knowing that we could grab onto the top of that roof and pull it out just fine. So I'm just doing the mirror image on the back so that they line up. And I fiddled with this for quite a while. And it wasn't because it wasn't going to work. It was just that that gift card slid around a little bit. So I think when I put the final gift card in, I will definitely do like a temporary adhesive, not permanent, but like a temporary glue runner on the gift card to that piece of paper so that it doesn't. And then I had to go and cut all the pieces for that because, yeah, you know, I didn't cut them out. I wasn't planning on using it. <laughs> so I was just double checking and making sure. And this is where I'm fiddling with it some because I want to make sure that it's going to stay where I want it to stay when that card is in there. And I know I'm going to have to do some, a little bit of adhesive to get that gift card to stick to that piece of paper so it doesn't shift around if I would mail this, that sort of thing. And here I am tucking the little mouse in the barn. And this is where life gets real, people. I'm a farmer's wife. <clears throat> I had to cut off the poor little blind, blind. I'm saying he's blind because his eyes were closed, so he didn't have to see me cut his tail off. So I had to cut his tail off to put him in the barn. <sighs> it is what it is. And so I'm just deciding how I want to do this. And I put the sign there thinking it was going to be just fine. And then when I popped up the, <laughs> the card, I was like, oh, it hides the <laughs> sign. So I ended up removing it. It wasn't glued on there very well anyways. So I'm just decorating the top of my barn, putting on the piece. I did put pull here on my front top of my barn to help with those people that don't understand interactive cards, you know, or what to do with them. So that just lets them know that they need to pull here and it will pull out the gift card. I did not connect the score tape. I just have the score tape in there so that when I am done getting or when I get it ready to actually send with the actual gift card I will use, I can just peel that off and stick it and it'll be ready to go. So I'm going to do the back here. I'm just taking that piece that I cut off from the other one up front and cutting a piece off of the one from that I colored earlier and sticking strawberries on each end and then I will tuck those in on both sides so they kind of have a finished back there and then I did the have a happy birthday and then added the berry in there my camera died you didn't get to see that <laughs> and so here are those strawberries that I had cut out using the brother scan and cut and isn't it beautiful 
this is the berries tucked in the basket there. And then I will put the bee on a piece of acetate or an acetate pick and pop that up and off to the side. And then I will finish adding in that sign to the poor blind mice, mouse, mouse, I guess it's only one, but both of their eyes are closed, so maybe they're both blind mice. Is the other one in this that have closed eyes? I know it's just because they're smiling and their eyes are closed. Not really closed, but, you know, smiling eyes. I call those smiling eyes. I have those. <laughs> Anyways, there is the Your Berry Sweet. And have a very happy birthday. And here it is in action. And if I have the gift card in there, right, you can't actually see it. But <clears throat> I didn't have it tucked all the way in. And here we go. You kind of have to pull, hold on the bottom to pull it up, but it does work better if you do not have it all the way up to put the gift card in it. So, and there it is. I hope you enjoyed and maybe you will try to sneak a gift card inside of your platform pop-up too. This is Jamie. Thank you so much for watching.